We finally got to do what we wanted to in the Bahamas. We met some locals and we're getting plugged into some community. So these are our friends Dallas and Tamara. They are from the Bahamas and actually, even though his name's Dallas and we're from Texas, no relation. So they saw our trawler while you were boating around and found us on Facebook and then looked us up and invited us to church. So we're getting plugged in and we're really excited. And they actually have an excursion company yep. Yep. called Out Island Explorers. Out Island Explorers. Yeah. And so check them out because they do kayaking, snorkeling, sailing, sand boring, private charters, yep. anything you need. Yeah, help it's, you out. <laughs> it's been great because they've also got kids, so my kids have been playing with them. So we'll show you some of uh, church. And what that's like here in the Bahamas. Okay, another random fact about our friends. Because of their excursion company, people will, like, sell you things, right? Or, yeah. like, hey, we found this. We have a boat, a sailboat, a kayak, whatever. Well, remember, we lost our kayak in our terrible seas. And we were more or less kind of close in Baratari area. Farmer's Key, most likely. Farmer's Key. Yeah. We didn't know where we were. <laughs> well, so one of his buddies texted him a picture of this and said, hey, man, I found this. Do you want it? You, you maybe can't see it really well. That's our kayak that we lost. <laughs> so the kayak that flew off of our boat is now going to be here in the Bahamas in excursions. You can kayak on our boat anytime you want. <laughs> so here's the story of the wandering naps. We are a family of five from Texas. Chris and Jolene met in second grade and started dating our freshman year of high school. We got married in college, moved to Texas, and had three boys. Carter, Chase and Caleb. We love to travel, so we bought a boat, spent 14 months in the Florida Keys, working, repairing, saving, and waiting. Join us on our journey as we travel, explore, and learn. On our boat, what may seem like chaos with all these people and kids running around, we're actually trying to get ready to go spear fishing. Of course, we had to eat lunch first, and the kids couldn't wait to just play in the water. Peace out. Is Josh going to really double paddle like that? He's going to double paddle. In his mind, those are double swords. Yeah, I'm sure we can use Sunday here on well everywhere 
but we're at Stocking Island and they have the Chat and Chill open finally. On Sundays they do a pig roast. They roast a whole pig and I think it's like 20 or 22 dollars and you get your meal plus a bunch of sides and so that's where everyone's probably gonna go. So let's head on over there. It's just right on the other side of that um, beach right there. Chat and Chill is rated as a top place to eat and visit here in the Exumas. Since 2001, Sunday's Pig Roast has been the largest social event. Visitors worldwide come to enjoy the local vibe. The chat is free, but the chill has a cost. There are no roads or bridges to Stocking Island, so you must go by boat. It's across the harbor, Elizabeth Harbor from Georgetown on Great Exuma. Visitors come from all over the world to hang out here. We even found Fort Worth represented. Can you find your hometown on here? A visit to Chat and Chill starts at the bar where you place your order. Visitors will also leave all kinds of memorabilia to add to the vibe of the decor. We contributed a sticker to mark our time here. After you place your order, you will have to wait a while in order to get your food. So next, hit up the souvenir shop, the beach, games, swings, or go start a volleyball game. The local wildlife enjoys visitors as well. Scraps of conch are provided for you so you can feed the stingrays at the beach. afternoon the lines open up for the pig roast it's served cafeteria style you receive pulled pork macaroni and cheese coleslaw and rice and beans Every morning, it's the boy's job to turn on the generator and get all the systems running. This is, yeah, I know, that's the one. What else do I want? Is that it? Air conditioner. Oh, and hot water. Hot water, here. Yeah. Air conditioner master and water heater. That's a hot one. Are those our amps? 
You need to go get ready. Mm -hmm. Can't go to church like this? No. Why not? So many answers. So, so many. I time. just I can't pick a good response right now. This morning, we are going to go to church with a local couple that we met via Facebook when they saw our boat anchored out. They saw us in like a trawler Facebook group. They looked us up and said, hey, I think we just drove by you. And then they invited us to church. So we're excited to get to go. Um, but also, it's nice to have something to get ready for. We haven't had to get ready for anything for like a year. We parked at the dinghy dock where Dallas picked us up and drove us into church. Life Church Exuma uses the Life Church broadcast from Oklahoma for their Sunday morning services. There's nothing like feeling at home when you're a thousand miles away. But that's what the body of Christ is. It's home. Traveling to another country and joining a community of believers from all over the world has shown us how truly connected we really are. Those who may never meet in person are all connected through the love of Christ. We were created for community. Thank you, Life Church Exuma, for welcoming us like family. We will see you again. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next Friday.